Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to keep talking about color correction using adjustment layers. And in previous videos, I've talked about the adjustment layer as being the what, as in what do we want to do to our color. And then Photoshop gives us a number of tools to help say where that effect happens. So we have the what and the where. Today's video is going to be about the where. And so far we've talked about masks, but one thing you might not have considered is blend if. So let me show you what blend if looks like with some normal paint. So I'll get some very high visibility yellow here. I'm just gonna paint a big stroke and it looks very boring. Well, if I were to right click on the layer and go to the blending options, here I can decide where the yellow is visible based on the underlying layer's colors. So let me show you what that means. If I only want it over light colors, for instance, I would move this arrow and thereby hide the yellow over top of all the dark stuff. So the yellow is visible over the car paint and the snow, but it's not visible in these shadows. And then if I want to give that a little bit more subtlety, I can hold down the Alt key, and I can spread those arrows a little bit apart, and you get sort of a softer transition. So this means anywhere I paint on this layer, it's only going to show up in that sort of region of the value scale that I've defined for it. But this is just a solid color. What if we applied that to our color correction? So here I have a single curves layer that I showed in a previous video. And this is colorizing from the original to the colored version. Now, I want to apply the same notion here. I'm going to use blend if in the blending options to say I want this only to affect the light colors in the image. I don't want it to be applied where the image is dark. I'll do the same exact process here. I'm going to move this lower arrow up until it reaches the desired area, and then I'm going to soften it by breaking those arrows apart with the Alt key held down. So what do I have happening here? I'll hide it so you can see. Here is the original color, and here I've applied all that color correction, but only to the light areas in the image. So there are times when a mask is going to be the most appropriate thing. Like I say, I want it to be everywhere in my image where there's car paint. So for that, I've made these selections. But there are going to be other times where you really only want to apply whatever the what is, whatever sort of color correction you're doing, you only want to apply it to a certain region of the value range. Only the light areas or only the dark areas. Well, that's where the blending options and blend if can really help you take control over where you're color correcting. And I should mention that this does not only apply to the curves color correction. Any of the adjustment layers we've talked about will work in the exact same way. And this is one of those unexpected features that becomes extremely powerful once you understand how it works. So have fun color correcting. And if you want to learn more about the blend if option, I have other videos which I've linked at the bottom of the post. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.